Let us discuss resource allocation graph in this session. Resource allocation graph that means a graphical representation to denote that how the allocation has been made. Allocation means allocation of resource instance to a particular process or how to depict that a process has placed a request to the operating system, but the request has not been granted yet. So, to depict all these things in a graphical representation, we are going to discuss resource allocation graph. We know that plenty number of text will not carry that sense where a graphical representation can carry the and express the situation very well. So, this is a sample resource allocation graph. Resource allocation graph mainly consists of four components or four diagrams, okay, four notations. One is the circles which will be denoting the processes. So, here in this case I am having three circles. So, P1, P2, P3 are the three processes are here. Next we are having these resources in the rectangular box. So, how many resources are there in this diagram? Four resources R1, R2, R3, R4. Whenever a resource is non-shareable, then it will be denoted by a single dot. That means, only one process this resource can be accessed. So, by one process only at a time the resource can be accessed. That means, the resource can be allocated to one process at a time. That means, this resource is non-shareable and mutually exclusive. And if we find that the number of instances, so these dots will all will be known as the instance. So, if number of instances are multiple more than one, that means it is a shareable to that limit. That means, this resource R4 can be allocated to two processes at a time. So, component number 1 circular shaped uh, diagrams and they will be known as the processes, rectangular shaped boxes they will be denoting the resources with dots instances. Third component is allocation age that means, when the age is being directed from resource to the process that means, one of the instances of this particular resource has already been allocated to the process P3. So, this is known as allocation age. So, allocation age will be directed from resource to the process and whenever there is an age which is directed from process to the resource will be known as the request age. Request age means this process has demanded the process has placed a request to get one of the instances of this of this resource R2. So, this is known as request age. That means, when the directed age is from process to resource, it is known as request age. So, allocation age, request age, rectangular boxes, resource and then circular shaped diagram for the process for to denote the process. So, this is known as the resource allocation graph. From the resource allocation graph, can we infer whether deadlock has occurred or deadlock has not occurred? Yes, we can infer. If there is no complete or closed path in this directed graph, then the resource, then the situation is deadlock free. I am going to discuss. Just see in this particular uh, diagram, here you see we are having one cycle, we are having one cycle. This diagram, we are having one cycle. So, if the cycle is there, then deadlock may or may not take place, but if there is no cycle, let us suppose I am having uh, something like this, say this is my R1 which has been allocated, allocated to P1, that is another resource say R2 which has been allocated to P2. You see that is no question of any kind of cycle, uh, cycle here. So, whenever there is no cycle in the resource allocation graph, then deadlock will not occur. But whenever there is a cycle in a resource allocation graph, then deadlock may or may not take place. So, here we are having a cycle, closed path. Cycle means this edge direction, then this direction and this direction, closed path. So, this is a cycle, this particular resource allocation graph is having a cycle and here deadlock is not there. But here that, that is a cycle closed path, but here the deadlock is existing. Let me show you. Now, in this particular graph you see P4 is having only one allocation age. That means that 
before completion is guaranteed because it is not waiting for any other resource to get allocated to it. So, whenever P4 will get completed, whenever P4 will get completed, then this allocation age will be removed. Then what will happen? One of the instances which was allocated to P4 will get will become free. So, this particular request age will become the allocation age. So, now P3 can get completed, P2 is not waiting, so P2 will get completed. So, when the P3 will get completed, then what will happen? On the P3, so this is the allocation is so now when P3 is getting completed, all these allocation ages are getting released, and so this request age will be converted to allocation age, and in this way all the processes can get its completion. But here you see, here you cannot resolve. You see, it is waiting for R1, it is waiting for R2, it is waiting for R3. So you see, each and every process is waiting for the other processes completion. So, cycle is there, yes that is a cycle. So, cycle is there, deadlock is present, cycle was there but deadlock was not present. So, let me go for the conclusion. If one resource allocation graph is having no cycle, then deadlock will not take place. If one resource allocation graph is having a cycle, then deadlock may or may not take place. So, this sort of inferences we can draw from this resource allocation graph. I think you have got the logic how this resource allocation graph is depicting the current situation of deadlock in a graphical notation. So, we are going for the next topic for other topics in the deadlock. Please watch the next videos. Thanks for watching this one.